A shocking and repeat case of vandalism as the cables on the Sea to Sky gondola are deliberately cut for the second time in just over a year. A dangerous and devastating attack on a local business. Good evening. The RCMP is already certain that whatever happened in the early hours of this morning at the Sea to Sky gondola was not an accident. The vandalism once again threatens dozens of jobs as a key tourist attraction in the Sea to Sky corridor is forced to shut down. Ben Milger is live in Squamish. And Ben, two attacks on the gondola now in just 13 months. What is going on? Mijang, if RCMP up here have any idea, they're not sharing that information publicly. At this point, they have stopped short of confirming a link between the two acts of sabotage, but say they are very similar and it is quite possible the same person or people are responsible. Around 4 a.m. Monday, somebody scaled one of these towers, cut through the thick steel cable, and sent dozens of gondola cars plummeting to the forest floor. It just sounded like the, like the rocks were just coming off the wall, like just... Poof, 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 poof. And then I uh, got up in the morning and you can see like the, you know, the cord like hanging down the, hanging down the wall. Police say there is no doubt it was an intentional act. This is a deliberate cut. This was not an accident. Uh, this was done by someone or a group of individuals who uh, cut the gondola cable similar to last year. Someone cut the cable the first time in August of 2019, shutting down the gondola until February. Seven months ago to the day, people raised a toast at the top of the mountain to celebrate the reopening after more than $5 million in repairs and the installation of a new security system featuring cameras, motion sensors, and a very loud alarm. Uh, like two or three weeks ago, we ha I heard a sound like an alarm, like, meh, meh. Yeah. see the sky go, you're trespassing. It happened like... I was there three weeks ago. RCMP confirm officers found two people who had tripped the alarm by climbing one of the towers. Um, we've identified who they are, and at that point in time, we didn't deem them to be somebody who was up there at a risk uh, of cutting the gondola, didn't have any tools of anything like that that would be able to cut through the cable like happened today. Uh, but that's definitely an avenue that we'll be looking at. RCMP admit the same person or people who evaded responsibility for last year's sabotage could be behind the latest act as well. Gondola management hinted the new security measures may help advance the investigation much more quickly this time. I'm completely confident that compared to the information the RCMP had last time versus this time, it's a new world. I think that's probably all I can sort of say about that this moment. So, Ben, obviously a complex investigation is underway. What comes next? Well, RCMP investigators will be here for the next several days. Technical Safety BC also has a team on site. Right now, there is no cost estimate for uh, how much it will cost to repair the gondola or a timeline for when it will reopen. But management says when it does, there will be even more enhanced security measures. Mijang. Thank you, Ben.